I got old shower shoes from 2005 in there. <sighs> Today we're gonna be talking about what's in my baseball bags. Yo, what's going on guys? It's been a while since I did a what's in my bag video, so I figured, hey, why not let's go through it again. And I don't think I've ever showed you these bags. These were my official bags uh, when I was playing with the Mets and the Padres. Um, when you get drafted, they give you your own bag or when you go to a new team, they give you a nice bag that you can travel with. So I'm gonna talk about the bags a little bit and what's inside, let's go. First of all, before we get into those two bags, this is actually the first bag, baseball bag, that I ever got for free 99. Uh, this is the bag they gave us at Auburn University. Um, it was a cool bag. I don't even know. They probably don't even get these anymore. They're probably sponsored by somebody else uh, this time, but I got a new bag each year. So I was there two years. I got two of these big Louisville Slugger bags and I got this bag right here. I love this bag because it's perfect for pitchers. It's a small bag. I used to keep my spikes in here, my glove, um, bands, things like that. It's nice and small, you can throw it on. I actually used this when I was in pro baseball too, on the field to have my turfs if I have my spikes on or my spikes if I have my turfs on. And then you can have your glove, a drink, whatever it is. So this bag was super convenient. I don't even know if they make this or not. Again, this was back in 2004, 2005. So after playing at Auburn, I was drafted by the Padres and then I got this bag right here. Um, and it's a pretty sick bag, but I actually wanna go into uh, what's inside the Mets bag first. After I played with the Padres for a few years, I was taken in the Rule 5 draft to the Mets and they bought my contract. And that's where I finished playing, but I kind of want to go through this bag first. So let's dive in, see what's in here. So first, uh, this is where I keep all my bats now in the Mets bag. This is a Kissimmee Sticks bat, Ash bat. Uh, I'll lay these bats out as I take them out because there's a bunch of bats in here. Here's a Academa bat. I don't even know where I got this from. The black Academa bat. But I got tons of bats in here right now. Uh, another Kissimmee Stick smaller bat model for a youth player. It looks brand new too. One-handed bat, one-handed, to work on one-handed hitting drills. Kissimmee Sticks. I used to uh, work with a company called Kissimmee Sticks, Mr. Romack started the company in the early 90s and uh, it blew up. And uh, then he, got, he sold it to Easton, uh, who still makes pro sticks. And then he started the company back up, actually him and his son and I, uh, and we started making wood bats again. And they're still over there making wood bats. Blu uh, Ray Wranglers. This was the summer team I played for when I was in college in the Valley League, Virginia Valley League. Blue Ray Wranglers. Look at that pine tar. BWP bat that was. This is an Omer Santos uh, bat he used in the major leagues. Um, I've got some videos with Omer Santos. He was a uh, major league catcher. Um, we played together on the Mets. He lives here in town close to me. Um, so we know each other. We used to train together at core with uh, Andre Williams. Kyle Blanks, that, I'm not sure if he's still playing, but he was in the big leagues for a while. Played with him in the Padres organization. Uh, old Hickory bat, it's one of his bats. I got from him when we were playing together. Oh, uh, this bat's a pretty cool bat. Um, they did a story on TV uh, called Inside the Rays, and this bat was in there. They talked about how to make wood bats. Um, just some cool stuff. And we went to a Rays game. Uh, it was pretty cool. I'll try to find a clip and drop it in here. This is a fungo, sweet ash fungo. Uh, that newly and Mr. Romack made for me. Some sticks, nice 36 inch, I think. I love these fungos. This is not my gamer, this is new. This is brand new. I mean, it's not brand new. I've had it forever, but it's never touched the baseball. I'm saving it, saving it for when I need it. <laughs> Here's a, just a old Louisville Slugger kid's bat. This thing at the end here um, tells you if you swing it fast enough, there you go. You hear that click? It tells you if you're, you're letting the barrel go at the correct time. So it's instant audible feedback and you can twist it to set the, uh, the um, how hard it is to click it. Here's another Kissimmee stick, something we were playing around with, the yard dog. 
uh, engraving it. Pretty cool stuff. Another semi sticky bat. A lot of bats I know. But let's get into the gloves. First of all, my BGs. Stinger batting gloves. These things are sweet, man. I love these things. Really comfortable, really durable. Um, and I have those Stinger BGs because this is my everyday glove. You guys see it probably on a lot of my videos. It's a Stinger glove. It's got Hugo Pro Baseball stitched into it with the colors, the Hugo Pro Baseball colors. And uh, this is my everyday, my everyday glove. I do lessons with this training and use it in the videos. So that's my Stinger glove. And I got a Kissimmee 6 glove. This is model 00001 of 00001. I started to release it in white laces and then got tired and didn't do it. But uh, I use this every once in a while. You'll see it around on videos and stuff. But uh, it's more sentimental than anything for me. Here are two of my older gloves that I used to wear. Both Rawlings. I did an old video on this, how to pimp out your glove, and I relaced it in red laces. Um, but this is my old Rawlings glove. Here I used this back in uh, Pro Ball. And then I got another Rawlings glove, very similar, closed web. Uh, I just didn't relace this one. I gotta, I gotta take care of these gloves, man. Throw some lotion on there. These are still good gloves. Just need a little TLC. IMO. So that's that. Then I've got the Valley Eagle 8. It's a mini glove to work on your training, you know, to really work on, uh, you know, training small. You can catch a ball with this tiny little glove with soft hands. You're gonna be a lot better catching that ball with a regular glove. Same concept here, but this one's a little bigger. This one's a 975. I sell these on my website as well. Um, if you guys don't know, my website is yougoprobaseball.com. I'll leave a link down below. But uh, again, this is the concept behind this is that you, uh, if you can feel ground balls with a smaller glove, you can feel them easy with a regular sized glove. Same thing, but for catchers. Look at this tiny little catcher's glove. This is great for catchers to really work on soft hand framing and receiving drills. I love this one a lot for the catchers. Now, Speaking of catchers, I got a couple more actual gloves in there, but before we get to that, the Team Defender U Catchers, I don't know if you've ever seen this, but these are protective gloves. They actually have padding on the fingers, the pointer finger and the middle finger, and then on the thumb, it's a hard piece, so you don't get that thumb hyperextended and jammed and broken like a lot of catchers do. So these are really um, super, super, important for catchers and catchers love these things man these things fly off of my website because guys love them once they get one pair i see repeat customers all the time um, this is the pro series right here the green and black one this is the standard the standard thumb is a little bit harder the pro series thumb is uh, a little bit more flexible in the thumb but both great and guys have their personal preferences of which one they which ones they like best a lot of pro catchers are using these man these things are awesome so check them out um, now, I just recently did a video shoot with Rawlings and they hooked my son up, uh, Mr. John Henry, a very soulful name, if you will, and uh, they made him a glove. We call him KJ. Uh, so if you hear me talking in my videos uh, about a KJ, that's my son. But they hooked him up with this glove and stitched his name right in there. So I'm really happy about that. He's not old enough to use it yet. He has a Rawlings glove, a little baby T-ball glove, but uh, he's not even playing, he's only 16 months, so. But then I got this baby, look at this thing. Oh my God. This thing is beautiful and brand new, only like a week old. I haven't even caught a ball in it yet. I'm gonna show you how to break this sucker in. This is a $500 glove. This is a Rawlings gold glove. This replaced the Primo. I don't know if you guys remember the Primo. The Primo was one of my favorite gloves but uh, they discontinued it for some reason. I guess they were saying, guys were saying it was too heavy and it was a heavy glove. This one's not nearly as heavy, but the leather on this is just as good, if not better. And uh, of course it's hundred dollars more than the Primo, but this thing is sick though. So I'm gonna break this in and start using it. I'll tell you more about it when I do. Uh, what else I got in here? I got some sleeves, some Yugo Pro baseball sleeves. For your arm, of course, 
Webb loves to work on catching mini wiffle balls. This thing is awesome. A lot of guys love this thing. You slip it on your fingers here and you catch the mini wiffle ball. Got this on my website as well. Ooh, 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 ooh. You'd be like the Mr. Miyagi of baseball, like the catching flies with chopsticks, catching mini wiffle balls with the web club. Then we got the catcher's game sign stickers. Catchers just put this on their fingers instead of painting them or whatever. It's just stickers that go on the fingertips. And this way the pitchers will love you and will not cross you up and you can see your signs a lot easier. So that's everything in the Mets bag. Now let's get into the Padres bag. Oof. Now we got the Padres bag. You see there's a little spot where they put your name. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It says Madden, where they put your name. The Mets bag has that as well. I just didn't have my name in there. Now this is my everyday fungo right here. Kissimmee sticks. This one's a maple though. Love this one, 36 inches. It's a butte. It's a butte. Then Newly gave me this one for Christmas this year. I haven't used this yet, but another fungo, super fungo. Kissimmee sticks, Yugo Pro colors. This one is super light, super light. I think he used a special wood uh, to make this one. He wouldn't tell me, but this thing is awesome. I can't wait to break this thing out, but it's too dang pretty, man. I don't even want to hit a baseball with it. I might keep this one for a rainy day. I don't know. Brand new Marucci. Look at how clean. Mm, so nice. Professional grade. How shiny is that thing? Look at that. I almost want to take my dirty hands off of that. Oh, Rawlings also hooked me up with an ash bat and engraved Hugo Pro Baseball on it because we did a video showing how they do the engraving on the bats and on the uh, gloves. So that's pretty, pretty cool. In fact, they show, we showed a video engraving this and the glove for my son. So pretty cool video you'll have to check out. And I also got the Rawlings Quattro. We also did a couple videos on this thing that are gonna be coming out soon if they haven't already. But this bat is pretty sick, man. And I haven't tried it out. It's still in the wrapper, super brand new. Um, but I'm gonna try it out very soon and give a review. But just from holding it and swinging it and hearing what Rawlings had to say about it, I'm so excited to try this sucker out. Man, I'm running out of space here on my, on my couch. Now this is a skinny barrel training bat I have uh, on my website for sale. All you do with this bat is you try to hit those mini wiffle balls as well. So this kind of goes with the, uh, the web glove. You catch mini wiffle balls with this, you hit mini wiffle balls with this. And I've actually got a uh, mini wiffle ball pitching machine on my website that you got to check out. Super sick, okay? This is the Pro Glider bat. And this is kind of similar to this bat, the clicking bat that I showed you earlier. I don't know where it is. It's down there in one of those hundred bats somewhere, but uh, it kind of tells you these balls come off. You only have one ball on. And then when you swing it, the ball flies off. And then you can see the trajectory of that ball. And also you hear an audible click when this white piece here hits the top piece. So it's a very similar training device to that other one. Um, in fact, I like this one a little bit better, but you just throw a ball down there, boom, swing it, see where it goes. And then uh, throw another ball on there. You're ready to go. And you can actually do this without the ball and just hear the click. So you get the vis visual and the audio um, instant feedback from the Pro, Pro Glider. Again, this is on my website as well. Fumble. And I got the floss bands. This is for recovery for your arm, for you pitchers. You hold on to it and just run it around your arm and get a good wrap on it. And then you go through some mobility movements. I'm not gonna go through it all the way or do a real wrap here. I'm supposed to pull it a little, little tighter than this but I'm just doing this to save time now. And then you tie it off down here or you can just grab it again. And then you go through some movement, um, exercise mobility feels real good on that elbow. You can do it on your shoulder as well. You can do it on your legs even, uh, but you don't want to leave it on too long. Only, only a short amount of time. Don't keep this thing wrapped around you or you're going to lose a limb. Next, we got the J bands. Everybody knows what the J bands are. Obviously, you can work on your shoulder. These things are great. Got them on my side as well. Power Core 360, love this thing. I got a bunch of new videos coming out with this thing. I, in fact, I, um, I trained with this thing for 15 days straight. You guys are gonna not, you're not gonna believe the results that I got. I'm gonna share them with you very soon. 
guess some of those videos haven't come out already, but take this thing everywhere with me. Swing starter, uh, new little training tool I've been working with. Um, works on bringing that, those hands to the ball, staying inside, really making sure you're on a good swing plane. Um, this is a brand new one to my site. I'm really loving some of the results I've been getting with guys. You can't even read that, can you? Light is, there we go. Got my custom seed sack for my seeds. Long ball licorice, the red and the black. If you haven't tried the red, you have to. This stuff is delish. Then I got my Padres jacket from the San Diego Padres. This is what we wore when it was cold out there. This thing is thick. I love it. Super nice. And then, I think this is the last thing I got in here, is my Auburn Letterman's jacket. And we got this uh, our senior year at Auburn. They give us this Letterman's jacket to rock. And I love this thing too. So that's what's in my baseball bags currently. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me the thumbs up. Go ahead and click that subscribe button with the bell notification right next to it. This way you'll be notified anytime I upload new videos. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below that you subscribed and then ask me any questions that you may have or if you wanna see any specific videos, something cool like this, I'll make them for you. Just let me know. Thanks so much, guys, and I'll talk to you soon.